Right now I'm about to send out the monthly newsletter. I haven't done this since uh, last in June of 2016 and now it's the end of April 2017 and I'm going to send out the newsletter which is pretty much giving updates on the business and future plans to those who subscribe to the Family Dreams Fitness website. Right now I'm doing it the hard way right now because I don't have the funds to get like an automated system. So right now the people who subscribe I have all their emails saved under the Family Dreams Fitness contact sheet and I'll be emailing them individually. Right now it's at 11 so it's not a crazy amount. But the bigger it gets I'm going to eventually have to get an automated system where it just sends out a mass email. And this is news out of the second one. Just have to find a lot of ways to market the business, stay creative, keep people updated. You have to always show gratification and if somebody does something for you, you have to appreciate it. Because everybody, nobody has to do anything for you. You're not entitled for anything. So if somebody goes out of their way to, or spends their time looking at what you send them, or if you say go on the website and they click on the website, that's their time that they're spending on something you ask them to do. I'm appreciative of all of that. I appreciate all of that. I remember when my website didn't have any views. It's still not where I want it to be, but it's still progress. A year ago, my website was probably getting two views, three views, if those were my views. Now it's getting 300, 400, 500. So it's progress. And I love the process. The process is the funnest part. That's where you have the option to make changes and grow. I'm trying to come up with a personal message for each person that I send it to, just to make make it a little bit personal so that they feel involved with the business, which they are. And because anybody that subscribes, you're helping the business grow. And I want to always show my appreciation because without supporters, the business doesn't exist. So for this first one, like I put in, hi, I hope all is going well. Attached is a copy of FDF's second official newsletter. As always, thank you for your continued support and help in making Family Dreams Fitness a household name. Keep it uh, short and simple, but also continue to show that appreciation. Now I just have to attach the actual newsletter. And this is one out of 11 um, subscribers, so I have to do this 10 more times, but it's worth it. Let's see, it's in my hard drive. The, uh, newsletters, second one, PDF. Being broke is actually what drives you to becoming wealthy. Like that energy and the, the drive from when you're broke actually helps you get to the wealth. So if you have money right away, it's, you're going to overlook certain things that you wouldn't have overlooked if you didn't have the money. So right now when I don't have the money, I notice every little thing and I work extra hard on every little thing because I know that, hey, I don't have money to pay for somebody to do it. So I got to do it myself. And I have no problem with that. It's it's fun. This whole process is fun. Just got some great news. I um a few months ago I got into contact with my old high school coach, Coach Graham, about helping out with my alma mater, Coral Reef, because he was working there at the time. I got into contact with him and Steven Lopez, one of the point guards who's two years older than me. And I was I haven't mentioned it to anybody and I was um going to be training the team for Coral Reef, but then Steven ended up getting the head coaching job at I think Champagnat Catholic School, Champagnat Catholic High School, which is a really prominent school. And then Coach Graham ended up getting another job at Terra Environmental Research Institute, which is a new school, but they're looking for progress in their athletic program. So he contacted me today saying that he was now at that school and wanted to know if I can help him out there with the training aspect which of course I will and this isn't a job that I'm looking for money out of because I just love I have a passion for the game of basketball and like high school sports and just high school students just to help them prepare them for their future and I'm also 
a huge, I have a huge respect for Coach Graham because he's helped me out a lot, not only uh, to become a better basketball player, but to help shape me into a man, to help mold me into a man. All, most coaches, if they're a good coach, they do that to their players. They're not just the, the sports coach, but they're also like life mentors. So it would be an honor to help him and to see life from this perspective because before I was the player, now I'm actually helping out with the coach to, to get the players better. So my perspective can help when he's coaching because I can tell them like, hey, listen to him or hey, this works. Like I've been there before and this is going to be exciting. So I'm just turn it out. I already, I'm always prepared. So I already had a workout plan program, off season workout program for Coral Reef, but it wasn't specific to each player. Today I'm going to meet up with Coach Graham so I can see the gym, get a outlook and a view on the individual players, what his goal is for the season, what the improvements should be and everything he knows. And then we're going to perfect this program so that we put the, the team in the best position to tear Wolves. So we're gonna put the Wolves in the best position to win and succeed. Last year, as I'm looking, they didn't do too well record-wise. They're a relatively new school, so that's understandable. But we're going to try to get them a little bit more on the map, get some more wins in the season. And think of this as a long-term investment. So we don't expect, I don't expect, and I don't think Coach Graham expects them to flip their wins overnight. But we want to set up a program so that the freshmen come in and by the time they become juniors and seniors, they're way bigger, they're way stronger, and they can really compete at a way higher level. And then eventually get some of their players some college exposure. But this is another addition to the Family Dreams Fitness story. Every day it's growing and it's crazy because I don't have to write this out. I, have to, I don't have to, I plan it because I want to plan my dreams and my reality. You have to write down goals. But the good thing is when I put the camera out, I'm showing you that I'm writing it out. I'm showing you that I'm planning. I'm showing you the process. And these are the types of things that happen when you put your head down, you go hard, and you never give up. Opportunities just pop up left and right. And opportunities never, they don't always have a dollar sign. Most opportunities don't have a dollar sign. It's just the opportunity to actually work and expose yourself to the world. So I'm going to get changed and head over.